Namaste to one and all. Welcome to my channel. Today I thought uh, to share about the 5 E's lesson plan. I, I have collected information from various sources and to know more about the 5 E's uh, lesson plan that is uh, engagement, exploration, explanation, elaboration and uh, evaluation. What about this 5 E's lesson plan? When we talk about 5 E's lesson plan, we have to see what about the 2005 National Curriculum Framework. According to the National Curriculum Framework published by the NCRT, it uh, tells that uh, teacher is, uh, um, uh, earlier we know that the teacher is having an instructor role, teacher centered edu education was there. Now you can see that instead of an uh, instructor's role, the teacher can become a collaborator and a facilitator to that students uh, that is uh, uh, his or her role is changing as a collaborator and then um, facilitator facilitating that is the learner how to learn the learner will start to learn how to learn and connected to this uh, five is uh, lesson plan and this five is lesson plan uh, uh, i have seen that uh, the education technology and uh, learning in collaboration with google this is according to the notification of uh, march 10 2021 and it also tells about the technology for blended learning in that uh, link you will get a template about the lesson plan in the template as a lesson plan you know what are the basic things you have to fill and more more about uh, it uh, tells about what the technology required what is the technology addressed what about the objectives also the objectives as usual and uh, there comes the five e's that is engagement exploration explanation elaboration and uh, uh, evaluation so i thought uh, to share the knowledge what i am having to help you teachers uh, so let us see what about the engagement and uh, this much this much what i wrote it is that what is written in the template that means the student engagement what the student does that is consistent with this model this is consistent with this model as i told you this uh, ncf uh, that is the what is uh, published in, uh, by the ncrt it tells about a constructivism constructivism means the learner becomes a uh, main uh, the learner construct his own knowledge the learner construct his own knowledge and uh, adding information so in this context we, we can see the student engagement what are they that is it shows the interest in the topic by asking questions that is the student uh, will uh, create his uh, uh, interest in that particular topic and he started to ask question what are the question that is why did this happen what do i already know about this that is recalling what about yes whatever previous experience we are having and from that the teacher is uh, creating or uh, inculcating knowledge among the students along with the previous knowledge so what knowledge i am already having and what can i find out about this this is a thing written in the template and i thought to add something more that is some more information i am giving you uh, to give a clear idea that is the meaning of engagement is that uh, getting the attention as yes, we have to when we reach the class we should get attention from the children from the learners from the students so listen to students to find out what they know as yes, first of all you can ask by question or listen to students to find out what they know and ask open-ended questions. I think it is better first to ask some open-ended questions, some uh, small, small questions. Uh, and uh, generate curiosity about the topic. Yes, the children should have some curiosity about the topic, what, how and why. So the teacher, the facilitator, the teacher should create an atmosphere uh, that the students are having some curiosity what she is going to tell what he is going to tell in the class so that way so the students started to uh, think about what how why where like that and so they started to show interest in the topic that is the uh, the students should have interest in the topic only then then you know that the learning process the teaching learning process will become more easier and uh, share thoughts ideas in the class so there 
uh, they can share what is the what is the event they started first you know from that there is an opportunity is given in that classroom that a particular uh, particular type of event or particular type of uh, a new concept may be given in the class uh, some new idea may be given in the class there you know that they started to think about it and they share thoughts uh, ideas with the class then coming to the second one exploration in this exploration uses inquiry to explore and uh, investigate to satisfy his or curiosity about the chosen topic so in the exploration also the same thing what the student does that is consistent with this model that way it is written in bracket so in the exploration that is uses inquiry to explore and uh, investigate to satisfy his or her curiosity about the topic about the topic or the concept whatever it is then thinks freely but within the limits of the activity so the student started to think freely and within that particular uh, limits of activity sometimes in the classroom sometimes outside the classroom like that within the limited activity and uh, tests uh, predictions and hypothesis what it tells about whether it is correct or wrong is it uh, predicts, uh, it tests the predictions and hypotheses and experiments with the alternatives and discusses them with others. So experiments whether it is correct or is it, is it correct or wrong and they are sharing it, uh, discusses with uh, the others and uh, whatever the result they got, whatever the conclusion the children got, they started to record it. Uh, that is, they have started to write notes, uh, records, observation, ideas. This is this part is written in our template. And uh, more about what I found is that uh, is, this is learning by doing. That is, this uh, exploration means uh, learning by doing. The children started to do that with that particular topic, with the concept, uh, and started to learn. What are they? That is, the teacher should provide the learning uh, environment. That is, this is the thing, they should present the learning environment and uh, materials for active exploration. Materials are should, also should be given or the previous day itself, we can ask the child uh, as you bring the paper cuttings or um, bring um, uh, color, color pencil, paint or like that. Something you can ask the chil children to um, bring. So, you know, that, that is materials for active exploration and uh, Gain students time to work together is yes. they are uh, first of all they you know there is small small groups uh, the class should be divided into small small group uh, and uh, give students time to work together to explore the topic and problem so the students in small small group they started to explore and uh, the topic or the whatever the teacher has given maybe the problem or maybe a concept and uh, listens to st then walk around and ask questions about what they are doing as you can walk around the teacher can walk around and see that what the child is doing what the children are doing and you can listen uh, that what they're discussing about and listen to students ideas as they talk each other and support students sometimes they will come teacher what can i do this is like that so you know that when they ask some questions they you can support them if they need it and work with each other as they are work with each other and uh, try out ideas new new ideas they can have and uh, share it uh, so you know that and uh, record thoughts this thought should be recorded and uh, take notes and ask questions so this is about about elaboration so first one engagement getting the attention by putting some concept uh, putting uh, some new uh, activity there and that way you can ask the get, get the attention and uh, second one is that they started to learning by doing they started to learn by doing that is meant by exploration here i am showing you some clippings about my class uh, which has been taken to upload in the cbse portal uh, so uh, let us see that also
exploration section uh, teachers can make use of ICT what about ICT that is uh, really it is having an impact on learning when teachers are digitally literate when teachers are legit, digitally literate they can integrate it with the, uh, the curriculum that is the importance of the ICT here ICT means it is an information communication technology it includes all communication technologies it will include the about internet wireless network uh, mobile phone, there is cell phones, uh, computers, etc. So that can also make use of this uh, uh, exploration uh, session.